Welcome back to Done With Depression. I have a one-on-one -on -one therapist appointment today, so I thought that I should talk about my experience with a one-on-one -on -one therapist so far. So I've probably had about six or seven sessions, and I have Kaiser, so if you guys don't know what's going on with Kaiser right now, they're pretty much overbooked with everything, and so it takes about a month to get a session with your therapist and so you only get one like every month instead of like every week or whatever people do um, and so I've had about six or seven sessions and the first couple sessions he's just kind of trying to feel me out and see what's going on get some of my backstory and all of that and it took a couple sessions to actually dig into the stuff that was happening and kind of working towards a solution for it or being able to work through it. But recently, my last session, we were talking about my childhood and some of the stuff that went on through middle school and that sort of thing. And so he wanted me to print out a photo of me from that time period and frame it and talk and nurture the younger version of myself so I have that photo here this was me in middle school uh, this was seventh grade and so I've had this picture and at first when I first printed it out it was really weird I didn't remember the picture and it kind of made me like sick to my stomach seeing the picture, which I noticed as being kind of odd. I immediately started to think negative things about the picture and about that period of my life. But as I've had it and been kind of sitting with the picture, it's become a lot easier to look at and just kind of accept that that was me at a certain time in my life. and that it's okay and I'm a different person now and I'm working through it. So therapy has been going well, I guess. Um, sometimes I have a book of things that I write down throughout the month that I wanna talk about and I feel that that helps a lot because a lot of times you get in there and then it's like, oh, everything's great. Uh, if you're having a good day or whatever and you forget some of the challenges that you had the last month. So it's a good practice for me to write things down as they happen. And even if I'm not feeling an extreme emotion about that thing that I wrote down, I can still talk about it and how it made me feel at that specific time. And so I've been doing a lot of noticing feelings and noticing things and just trying to let it go rather than sit on it. Um, and same with your ego, just noticing your ego and just trying to let it go uh, if you're feeling sadness it's not permanent sadness it's just sadness in that moment and it's not fully encompassing and you just have to sit with it and let it go so that's what I've been doing with this picture the negative feelings and thoughts I had just sitting with the picture acknowledging that that existed and letting it go so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time on Done With Depression. Let's go back to that little